Gomez has reportedly revealed that Haley fans continue to scare her through her nights to this date. Most Jelena shippers and Selena Gomez fans would be aware that Haley Baldwin's fans are not very kind to the Wizards of Waverly Playstar. However, the fact that their actions continue to bother Gomez to date is something very concerning. Moreover, more details about Gomez's relationship and the detrimental effect it had on her mental health are now gaining popularity on social media. So, what's affecting Gomez's mental health? And how has she dealt with fans in the past? Let's find out in this video. Having to deal with cyberbullying is nothing new for Selena Gomez. The star has dealt with heavy criticism by various fandoms in the past and continues to stay strong in the face of unnecessary criticism. Not long ago, the star of Only Murders in the Building was photographed leaving a press event in Los Angeles with a Snickers bar in her beautiful handbag a perfectly sensible move for those of us who are always hungry. Selena has worked in Hollywood for nearly two decades, and it's clear that she knows how to be prepared for any occasion. Selena looked great in a burgundy self-portrait dress with a plunging neckline and button embellishments, complimenting her new bob. She complimented the look with an open-toed shoe and a Yves Saint Laurent patent leather purse that doubled as a trendy chocolate bar carrier. Selena had previously stated that chocolate, along with hot Cheetos, is one of her staples to keep on hand while traveling. Everyone is well aware of the fact that Selena Gomez loves chocolates, as she made pretty apparent in her own tweet back in 2017, when, in answer to a question from a fan about what she would prefer, chocolate or candy, she simply tweeted back, chocolate. Fans on Twitter quickly jumped on this. A fan with the handle Sweetest Place tweeted, OMG, not Selena Gomez walking around with a purse full of Snickers, along with pictures of Selena carrying the chocolates in her purse. Her fans and internet trolls' reactions, on the other hand, have not always been positive. Someone stated Selena Gomez looks like a chubby Kardashian sister. One of the users tweeted lately, along with a video of a woman giggling uncontrollably. Selena Gomez's career has been full of ups and downs in recent years. On top of high-profile breakups with on-again, off-again lover Justin Bieber, the 27-year-old has struggled with mental health, retreating from the spotlight and social media on multiple occasions. Gomez was also diagnosed with lupus, a long-term inflammatory illness that causes inflammation in the joints, skin, and other organs, according to the National Health Society. While there is no cure for lupus at this time, early treatment might help to decrease symptoms. The singer has now made a comeback, conducting interviews all across the country to promote her new music and upcoming album. She recently chatted with the vodcast Giving Back Generation on the personal impact her health issues have had on her. In the interview, she opened up about having to go on medication to treat her lupus, which ended up affecting her weight. I have lupus and deal with kidney issues and high blood pressure, so I deal with a lot of health issues. And for me, that's when I really started noticing more of the body image stuff," she explained. Furthermore, she claimed that while she was quietly battling to come to terms with her changing physique, people were attacking her appearance on social media without realizing she was ill. It's a medication I'll have to take for the rest of my life. It depends on even the month, to be honest," she said of her weight fluctuation. So for me, I really noticed when people started attacking me for that. And in reality, that's just my truth. I fluctuate. It depends on what's happening in my life. According to Gomez, these body-shaming comments were the reason she took a break from social media at the time. That got me big time, she said. That really messed me up for a bit. Selena Gomez gained weight after the surgery and had to undergo psychiatric counseling. She reveals that she gets angry when she's called obese, despite her youthful appearance. Selena Gomez stunned fans with a stunning makeover in 2020. She possessed a healthy and balanced body free of excess fat after decreasing weight. Selena Gomez is well known for her petite physique, which she achieved via extreme hard work and a sophisticated, well-planned diet. Even though she's just 1.65 meters tall, as she lost weight, her legs became thin and attractive over time, leaving many to make comparisons with top supermodels. Despite the negativity, she has had super loyal and supportive fans who've always stood by her through thick and thin. 
And this is apparent from this tweet from a user named Cole Souvenir who said, Y'all complain about how Selena isn't confident, but then y'all do everything in your power to belittle her accomplishments, act like she's a flop, and comment on her body. She's THE Selena Gomez. Put some respect on her name. Another user, Arisen, said, Fatphobic too? Wow, jobless behavior. Selena literally has a natural and beautiful body, and if you're insecure, just say that. Despite everything, Selena has stood strong in the face of opposition and has shut down people who have criticized her for her choices and lifestyle. On the set of her hit Hulu show, Murders in the Building, a member of the paparazzi commented on her weight as she passed by and said, you look like you're getting pretty big, to which Selena replied by flipping them off. This is not the first time such an instance has taken place, and also not the first time Selena Gomez has retaliated against such trolls. Back when the 23-year-old Same Old Love singer stepped out in a hot pink bikini in Mexico in April, body shamers accused her of gaining weight. Selena spoke up about the nasty comments during her appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, saying, Yeah, it was the first time I'd ever been called fat. It was weird because it's just not, oh, she's fat. It's like, she's a mess. She's gone off the deep end. I'm like, because I'm on vacation wearing a bathing suit? Actually, technically, that is a little too small for me, but I didn't care. That's so degrading, she added, about being criticized for her weight. But Selena didn't let the haters get her down for long. I love being happy with me, y'all. Hashtag there's more to love. She responded on Instagram following this, sharing a sexy swimsuit picture. Still, when E.T. interviewed Selena last month at the New York Fashion Week, she did admit the all the criticism of her body did affect her. I actually had never experienced it before, Selena said. I couldn't even imagine what my fans or kids go through at school. It's just so difficult and awful. More issues came out after one of Selena's admirers shared a picture of a scar on her left arm on the site, along with the message, I just want to die so all of this will end already. I feel so worthless. It's hard for me to ignore people. A second fan, who goes by the name of Selena Gomez fan, wrote in the comments box, cut, 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 cut. Selena, visibly shaken by the scenario, told the bully that she didn't want them as a fan. This is ridiculous, she wrote. At Selena Gomez fan, my fans don't do this to others. That's not what I stand for, so you can gladly stop being a fan of me. I only encourage love, confidence, and kindness. To the first fan, Selena said, My love, you are gorgeous just the way you are. Don't you ever attempt that shit again, okay? I love you too much for you to be doing that. Then she added, P.S. To all my fans, I don't think this is fun to get attention. It's just wrong. I love you all just the way you are. Do you think Hailey Baldwin and other toxic fans should hold off from criticizing Selena Gomez? Do remember to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a great day!